my fellow soulmates and food lovers and welcome to another episode of Eileen's Kitchen Stories. Two months of living here and testing out different kinds of restaurants, I do definitely have some favorites that I really, really want to show you guys. So here they go. The first one up is the Pignon Nouvelle-Vac in Le trois Îles, which was our first night out with some friends. So Géraldine and Catherine, they both went with us and helped us a little bit deciding on what to get. It is straight by the sea. On the other side of this restaurant, you can actually see Fort de France. And if you go there by night, it's the most beautiful sight ever. You can just watch all these lovely lights flimmering and you can just soak in all the atmosphere there. And then look at the food. They're very, very famous for their seafood and it was amazing and lovely and even though the platter may seem a bit pricey you know it is for two people and in general going out in Martinique is going to be a quite expensive thing this island literally is a quite expensive spot to be in the first place after that evening Geraldine and Catherine they both told us that it's not common to give tips when you went to a restaurant which is quite common actually in Germany so interesting for us to know you don't give any tips we actually did like it especially the fish it was a huge fish plate we literally had three lobsters on there and then four i think gambas and then yep. lombi it's called kind of like the inside of a huge shell, shell. it was a bit weird but interesting to try honestly very interesting Slowly. to try have a good night good night good fight bye 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 hello guys so today we are on a journey to find good lunch here in le diamant and we're on our way to a restaurant which is called new cup and they should have very fresh seafood so let's see how they are because we're hungry very hungry and we really enjoyed that one as well because it was super close to the sea again you could literally go straight from the beach to the restaurant vice versa you know what we really liked about the whole stay was the waitress she was amazing we really enjoyed her company she gave us good recommendation regarding the food we had the akras which we loved 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 and we had some very nice main meal as well. And it was not as pricey as we would have expected. So definitely a good spot that we can recommend. It's time for dessert. We get along so well with the waitress here that she gave us a shrub to try. But it's supposed to have lots of spices in it and the aroma, like the scent only, is just so good. Wow, it's like um, like a Caribbean amaretto, but it tastes more like citrus. Overall, it was a great experience. We really liked the atmosphere there. This spot is Le Steel Pen in Fort de France. Please excuse the quality of the video. This has been a quite spontaneous trip, so we only got my phone camera with me. So we shot a little bit on that one. We just wanted to give you really like an insight on what it was like to be there. It was such a nice day, especially because you don't expect something like this in a place like this. So you just go upstairs and you have this amazing, super colorful place around you and you can actually have swings. So you sit on swings in order to eat. And this is kind of like, Caribbean fusion sort of food. We had also a very nice waitress, super polite, very respectful. We had great food and we tried banana ketchup. And banana ketchup is some of the weirdest things ever. You have to try it yourself. Really had such a great atmosphere, which I keep saying throughout this video because all of the places that we went to had really incredible atmosphere. Now this restaurant, I really, really want to show you, especially because it's not a typical restaurant. It takes place every, I think, Saturday, sometimes for lunch and for dinner. And it's a table d'hôte, which means it's a fixed menu that was brought together by a chef. And this chef right here is Claire Marie Dubois. And her table d'hôte, is named La Cuisine de Claire Marie and you can go to Le Robert, get on a boat, go straight through the mangroves into her house and then enjoy this amazing view that you can have here. I literally felt like I was in Central Bay. I actually made a Colombo de Peche together with her, but like a very typical Caribbean or Martinican dish and it's all haute cuisine. You have everything gluten-free, such an amazing high quality. It's incredible. Get greeted with a cocktail and then you have these amazing foods that she put together. The yam puree really knocked me off my feet because it was infused with vanilla and that was the bomb, guys. The bomb. You really have to try it. Afterwards, we went on the boat again in order to have a nice trip. So we went to the bay and swimming and it was just gorgeous. This is all included in the table d'hôte and it's a very reasonable price that you get for this amazing trip. 
this spot, which is the next restaurant that I want to put to your attention, is Jose Le Gourmet in Anse d'Arlé. This also is sort of an odd cuisine place, I would say. Fusion Caribbean food and everything is fresh from his gardens. Literally everything that is vegetables, herbs. If you go there by day, you can literally see the amazing garden that he's taking care of. The Thursday evening seems to be a day where it's not as crowded, which was beautiful because we could take in all of the energy of the room and you come in there and have this incredible panoramic view where you can literally see almost 270 degrees, which is especially great if you go during the day. We went there for dinner. We had all of the windows open. You had this amazing breeze coming in and out so everything was very ventilated and airy and the barman by the way has such an incredible passion for serving you drinks so you you have to check it out for yourself go and get a cocktail even just go and get a coffee and you will be surprised what he's gonna put in there and everything that you can see on the plates the yam puree the violet sweet potato straight from his garden you could actually smell and taste the freshness of all the ingredients and oh my god guys the dessert. I had a chocolate lava cake, but the ice cream was out of this world. So great together with the chocolate lava cake. I still keep dreaming about this. The next restaurant is a bit up north in Le Carbet, where we went to snorkel a little bit and we went to this amazing restaurant afterwards. It was cute. It was outside. You are on a terrace. It's very colorful. Everything is very airy. You can absolutely feel the Caribbean vibes. The food that we had was super fresh. And the prices are incredible. I had a tea punch and it was served with a sugarcane syrup instead of the normal sugarcane. And that was also very enjoyable. I really liked it. And quite a few restaurants, you have humidifiers everywhere, which is very good because in Martinique, it's always very, very hot. The food was also very enjoyable. And one thing that we noticed is that they popped cinnamon into the rice. But I would reckon that for people that love cinnamon, it's the perfect thing to get also for a savory dish. I had a feeling of no with ananas and it actually pairs quite well with the cinnamon. And if you want to know actually how cinnamon is made or where cinnamon comes from, you can actually check out one of my videos that I did about how certain foods and vegetables grow. Coming back into Le Diamant, we went to a nice restaurant which was called Carré Bleu. That was also an insider tip of one of our friends who worked there. It is a nice restaurant just straight by the sea. You have a pool that you can jump in and then just after the pool you can see the amazing ocean. It is very reasonably priced. One thing that I really really like about going out in Martinique, especially going out for food in Martinique, is that you can always go in a very casual style, I would say. You don't have to dress up dramatically in order to go into an odd cuisine spot to eat. You don't have to put on your best gown in order to impress everyone if you want to go and have some food. No, you can literally just go straight from the beach and you just go and have amazing food. And we fell in love with the starters at this place, guys. The Acras de Moru are incredible. Out of this world, just the right amount of spice, just the right amount of saltiness and of fish. And then the Feroz d'Avocat, which is a very typical dish here on Martinique. It has some stockfish in it and it has avocados, obviously. And we are just fanatic when it comes to avocados, so we absolutely enjoyed the starter. If you look into the menu, you can also find meals that are below 20 euros which is very hard to find on Martinique and they're still very well in quality and very nice in taste as well because no matter what the chef brings out on the table everything is made with love. So guys thanks for watching I hope you did enjoy our little excursion on the best restaurants here for me on Martinique. If you have other restaurants that you want to recommend then please put them in the comments below. I really want to try them next time I'm coming to Martinique and also it would be amazing for other people to see which are your favorite spots here on this island. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel which is for free and then I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video guys. Bye!